this is an interesting feeling to be on this side of the table versus uh, a member after 30 years. And I want you to know that uh, it was not, um, this was not a position I, I seeked out. What's the proper word there? Sook? Sought. <laughs> Sought. Sought. Um, and when Governor Dayton asked if I Thank would. Thank you, Senator Cook. <laughs> and when Governor Dayton asked if I would do this, uh, um, Jill, who is here, and I had a, uh, the governor, of course, said you have as long as you have, but I want to announce it on Friday. And that was a Wednesday. And so Jill and I thought about it for a day or so and decided to do it. And it was, uh, I, I absolutely missed the Senate because uh, whether you're in the minority or the majority, it's a fabulous, I loved it, it's a fabulous place to be. But um, I am excited by this. I, I don't regret the decision. This is a, a really interesting opportunity. Um, and I think I could summarize um, why it is interesting at this moment in time by what the governor said to me. He said, uh, we have a new president of the university. At this moment, we have a new president of the university, a new chancellor, um, a relatively, he used the word relatively new governor and new chairs of the committee. And he said, this is not a retirement job. We're going to do something. What if we said we're going to fund whatever percent, 50%, 80%, 100% of a Minnesota resident's higher education costs? We'll give it directly to the student. And we cut all funding to Minsky and University of Minnesota, and they all become competitive for those student dollars. How would you react to that? Senator Pogan Miller. Madam Chair, um, it's a voucher system for higher ed. Um, <laughs> I think you know you're pretty close now. It's not perfect, but the financial aid system is set up in a way where it pretty much does put all of these institutions in competition. So if if uh, I think we need to examine whether going further steps there would be effective, maybe that makes sense. Um, but no, I, I just now I'm going to speak for myself, not Governor Dayton. Uh, for those of you who served on K-12 with me, I'm pretty open to whatever works. But, I, but I, I'm not in a position to say that's the direction you want to go right now. Um, but I think it absolutely should be thought about and considered. But, but also recognize that the current system in higher ed is about as close as you're going to get. It's pretty close now. Not totally. I, and, and you would, and obviously the for-profits argue, I think rightfully, and the, and the private colleges argue that there is a general level of subsidy to the min skew system that they don't have. Matter of fact, there's a dollar amount they put on that. Um, the University of Minnesota is a slightly different animal because you got the research function that is separate from others. But uh, Senator, I can tell you I'm willing to discuss it um, and think about it. And I, I think it's fair to say, uh, the chancellor and the president are willing to discuss it. I don't know if they're going to agree, but I think they're willing to uh, entertain the discussion. Follow up, Senator Carlson. Uh, I just want you to know I'm not saying I'm an advocate of it. I just, <laughs> but I, I just want to see your willingness to think way outside the box. But, that's all. And, Madam Chair, and that's why I specifically use the word voucher, because that gets people really kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Senator Saxog has moved that we, the committee recommend Senator Pogamiller as Director of Office of Higher Ed. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. The motion does prevail.